In a previous video, I showed you how to find the minimum variance portfolio for a portfolio that consisted of two stocks. And I showed you how to use it, how to do it using the equation that finds the uh, percentage of either A or B using this minimization equation, which you can derive using calculus, or simply by using the solver function in Excel. So we know in portfolio theory that, for example, if we happen to add a risk-free rate, and in this case I'm going to assume it's 3%, and we combine that with this risky, a risky portfolio, the best we can do is where the line coming from the risk-free rate is just tangent to the efficient frontier, or, or this um, trade-off between risk and return. So how do we find that point? Well, what we'd like to do is maximize the slope of this line here, the combination of the risk-free asset and some risky portfolio. And that turns out to be the sharp ratio. The sharp ratio is the expected return of the portfolio minus the risk-free rate, that would be the rise, um, divided by the standard deviation of the portfolio. Remember that this is zero, right? So the run is just whatever the standard deviation is. So here I have the same example I had before, um, expected return of 8% uh, for A, 14% for B, standard deviation of 3% for A, standard deviation of B, 6%, and um, a correlation coefficient of zero. Now we can put different numbers in here, but this gives us kind of a, a nice curve that makes it look good for the um, tangency point. So how do we maximize this line? We can eyeball it and sort of see it, well, it looks about right there, and we can kind of make a guess, but how do we find it exactly? Again, we can use that solver function. So let's go to the solver function again, and to do that you go to data, and you go to solver, and if you don't have the solver function, you simply can install it by going to uh, option, File, Options, and then Add-ins, and then you click on Excel Add-ins, click Go, and make sure this solver add-in is clicked on. All right, so let's, let's go to that, and let's go to Solver, and what do we want to solve? We want to solve this right here, okay? And we want to maximize it. We have a choice of maximizing or, or minimizing it or setting it to some value. What variables are we going to change? We're going to change the percentages of A and B. So we want to highlight those two. We're going to have a constraint too. Let me delete this constraint that I have here. Let me delete that and show you how to put that in. So we'll add a constraint. And the constraint is, is that A plus B, that's what this, um, the constraint is, is that A plus B, A percent plus B percent equals 100%. So equals... 100%, okay, we're going to say that we're going to constrain the variables, the uh, unconstrained variables, to be non-negative, and we're going to solve for it, and let's, we want to keep the um, solver solution, so let's click OK, and this is what we get, we get the optimal portfolio is going to be 64.52% of A, 35.48% of B. It's going to have a standard deviation of 2.8733%. I put in the standard deviation equation in here. And it's going to have an expected return of 10.13%. And it's going to have a sharp ratio or a slope of 2.47. So let's just scroll down here. What did we say? 65% of A, 
So let's see. So someplace in here, this is going to be um, between these two is going to be roughly the optimal portfolio. So this is how you solve for this. And um, taking advantage of that solver function helps you find the exact point where we're just tangent to the efficient frontier.